Hello student, I am Professor Devashish Bose, Head at Department of Criminology and Forensic Science, Dr. Hari Singh Gaur Vishwadhyale Sagar, Madhya Pradesh. Today I am going to present a lecture of BSc 5th semester on the unit Examination of Drugs, Part 4th, which has been jointly prepared by myself and Ms. Neha Sharma, a PhD scholar and a UGC GRF at Department of Criminology and Forensic Science, Dr. Hari Singh Gaur Vishwadhyale Sagar. So, Let's start our discussion while taking a look at what we are going to learn today. Introduction to Heroin Module 2 will be Mechanism of Action and Metabolism of Heroin. Module 3 will be Acute Poisoning, Chronic Poisoning and Postmortem Appearances. Module 4 will be Sample Collection of for Heroin. Module 5 Examination of Heroin and finally the Module number 6 Conclusion. Heroin. What is heroin? My dear student, here we are discussing about the semi-synthetic opioid heroin, not the actress which we see normally on the movies. Heroin is a more powerful analgesic than morphine, produces greater euphoria and consequently has a higher dependence liability. Heroin is also obtained as a semi-synthetic product from the plant Pavver somaniferum. Firstly, morphine is extracted from the sap like opium, then morphine is reacted with chemical to obtain the heroin. There are three types of heroin, white, brown and black. Street heroin is known as smack, junk or dope and is diluted by different organic solvents like quinine, lactose, mannitol, etc. Solid heroin, diacetylmorphine, can be dissolved in a liquid and injected or it can be heated and the smoke or vapors are inhaled or snuffed. As morphine was prepared to stop the addiction of opium later on, this fact came up that morphine is more addictive than opium. Same thing happened with heroin. Heroin was basically prepared to overcome the addiction of morphine, but it was found that it is more potent and addictive than morphine. It is found in research that misuse of prescribed opiate pain medicine lead to the risk of starting heroin use. It is rarely used therapeutically because of its drawback, but it is extensively used as a drug of abuse for just pleasurable feeling. Since it is a semi-synthetic drug, synthesis by the acetylation of morphine, therefore for its manufacture, illegal cultivation of opium is also carried out by organized criminal. Many people are involved in illegal trafficking of this drug, from the site of manufacture to the demanded distribution sites. Drug addicts also get involved in trafficking to meet their needs for drug. If youth gets involved in these type of activity, the future of any nation will be a dark future. The mechanism of action of heroin is similar to that of other opioids. The opioid drug produces their effect by combining with opioid receptor which are widely distributed in the central nervous system and other tissues. Opioid receptors are mu, delta or kappa located at spinal and supraspinal sites in central nervous system. Opioid receptors are part of family of G protein coupled receptors and act to open potassium channel and prevent the opening of voltage calcium channel which reduces neuronal. The mu receptors are important and two subtypes are recognized. The mu1 receptors are associated with analgesia, euphoria and dependence whereas mu2 receptors are associated with respiratory depression and inhibition of gut motility. Similarly, the opioid antagonist naloxone and nalheroxone show a high selectivity for mu receptor. Kappa receptors are responsible for analgesia at the level of spinal cord. Opioids exert their effect because of their chemical similarity to natural substances called endorphins, which are normally present in the body. The opioid drugs activate receptor sites normally occupied by the natural opiates or endorphins. Opium depresses all centers except oculomotor, vomiting and sweating. It is a peripheral acting analgesic. It stimulates non-progressive rhythmic contraction of small intestine. 
Opium and its derivative act synergistically with alcohol and barbiturates. Administration of heroin. Heroin may be white or brown powder or black sticky substance. People administered heroin in the following form. Through injection, IV, by smoking, by snorting, by snuffing, by mixing with other drugs. Metabolism. Metabolism refers to the process of biotransformation by which drugs are broken down so that they can be eliminated by the body. Some drugs perform their function and then are excreted from the body intact, but many require metabolism to enable them to reach their target site in an appropriate amount of time, remaining there are adequate time and then be eliminated from the body. It is metabolized to monoacetylmorphine or acetylmorphine. Monoacetylmorphine is then hydrolyzed to morphine. Therefore, chemical analysis will detect morphine, not heroin. Just after the ingestion, morphine and monoacetylmorphine are found in the urine almost immediately. Morphine is N-dimethylated and O-dimethylated along with unchanged drug and conjugated with glucuronic acid. Morphine is glucuronated to two metabolites with potentially important difference in efficacy, clearance and toxicity. Morphine 6 glucuronide M6G and morphine 3 glucuronide M3G. Morphine may also undergo minor routes of metabolism including N-demethylation to normorphine or normorphine 6 glucuronide diglucuronidation to morphine 3, 6 diglucuronide and formation of morphine ethyl sulfate. A recent study found that a small portion of morphine is also metabolized to hydromorphine, although there are no data suggesting a meaningful clinical effect. The unchanged and unconjugated morphine are excreted by the colon and by the kidneys. A small amount is also excreted through milk. Heroin shows sudden effects just after taking it. The initial effect of heroin are skinny warmth and dry mouth. Initial reaction also shows vomiting and itching sometime. After few hours, persons become drowsy and breathing and heartbeats become slow. When these effects fade up, person's body began to carve more for heroin. If he didn't get it, extreme physical and psychological withdrawal symptoms may occur, which includes restlessness, aches and pains in the bone, diarrhea and vomiting. Short-term effect of heroin are rush, slowed breathing, clouded mental functioning, nausea and vomiting, sedation, drowsiness, hypothermia that is body temperature is lower than normal, coma and death occurs due to overdose, long term effect of heroin. When person continues to take heroin, short term effects leads to long term effect. Long term effects are very destructive for one's body. Long term use of injection can lead to infection of blood vessels and heart valve. Frequent injection ruptures the vein. Tuberculosis and arthritis are the result of long-term use of heroin. Sharing of needles and injection can lead to AIDS and other blood-related diseases. Long-term use of heroin weakens immune system also. As a result of this, many infectious agents infect the body. Bad teeth, inflammation of the gums, constipation, cold sweats, itching, weakening of the immune system, respiratory illness, muscular weakness, partial paralysis, loss of memory and intellectual performance, depression, loss of appetite, insomnia. These are the signs of heroin addicts. It can cause sudden death even in persons who have been using it for some time. Overdose causes death from a very strong CNS depression. Fatal dose is around 50 mg. Post-mortem appearance, lungs are heavy and congested, severe pulmonary edema is the common autopsy finding due to sudden ventricular dysrhythmia. Microscopically, lungs show foreign bodies, granulosoma. 
liver shows chronic tretidis with mononuclear cell infiltration. Sampling methods. The principal reason for a sampling procedure is to produce a correct and meaningful chemical analysis because most methods, qualitative or quantitative, used in forensic science laboratory for the examination of drugs require very small quantity of material. It is vital that this small quantity be entirely representative of the bulk from which they have been drawn. Sampling should be undertaken to confirm to the principle of analytical chemistry. According to DFS Working Procedure Manual, prepared by Directorate of Forensic Science, Ministry of Home Affairs, Government of India, sample collections should be done by the way as mentioned below. Single package. The simplest sampling solution is where the submitted item consists of a single package of material. The material should be removed from its container or wrappings and the net weight should be recorded. The analyst should then virtually examine the material to assess its homogeneity. Presumptive testing may be made at this stage if it is thought that the sample of homogenization process will be lengthy or if there is still some doubt as to the identity of the material. For blocks, representative samples should be taken from all surface including the center, region or else the total brick is grounded to a fine powder. The powdered material is placed in a clean, clear plastic bag and shaken thoroughly. If the powder contains aggregates, the same may be broken down by passing through successive finer sieves or by pounding in the mortal pieces, all by use of an adapted commercial food mixer or food processor. Alternatively, coning and quartering techniques can be applied as follows. The sample is mixed by shaking or stirring. Large fragments are reduced if necessary. The matter is then poured on a flat surface to form a cone. The cone is flattened and the material is then divided at right angles forming quarters. Opposite quarters are taken for a sample. The remainder of the material is returned to the replicate from which it has been removed. Should further coning and Quartering be desired to reduce the sample size, particle size are further reduced. The material mixed thoroughly, poured to a flat surface and divided as discussed before. More than one package. The analyst should examine the content of all the packages visually and possibly by simple color test or TLC to determine whether all packages contain suspected drugs that is opium or crude morphine containing material and or if one or more package contains material different to that of the majority of the packages. The simplest indicator is the physical appearance of the material. If one of the more packages obviously differ in content, these should be segregated and subjected to separate analysis. The composition of multiple container item is as follows. If there are less than 10 packages, all packages should be sampled. If there are 10 to 100 packages, randomly select 10 packages. And if there are more than 100 packages, randomly select a number of packages equal to the square root of the total number of packages rounded to the next higher integer. If the material in all the packages found to be similar by visual examination, one of the two following approaches may be followed. The content of the number of packages may be combined and the combined bulk material may be then homogenized. Alternatively, chemical testing may be applied to a number of each of the packages. When different type of materials have been identified in various packages, each subgroup should be composited in an identical fashion, item containing bulk aggregates. If the aggregates can be easily reduced to small particles, then this should be the approach and sample procedure followed as outlined previously. If the material cannot be easily broken down, random sampling should be drawn from at least two different parts of the item. Examination of heroin is carried out in the Forensic Science Laboratory by using following procedures which are mentioned in 
the directorate of forensic science working procedure manual presumptive test color test positive results of these tests are only presumptive indication for the presence of heroin it is mandatory for analysis to be confirmed such result by using an alternative techniques so now we discuss the test marcus test take a small amount of suspected sample on a spotting plate and add few drops of marcus reagent the appearance of purple violet color indicates the presence of heroin preparation of marcus reagent marcus reagent is prepared by taking 8 to 10 drops of 40% formaldehyde solution is added to 10 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid next is is merck's test take a small amount of suspected sample on a spotting plate and add few drops of reagent the appearance of deep green color indicates the presence of heroin preparation of merck's reagent to 0.25 grams of selenious acid is dissolved in 25 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid fraud's test take a small amount of suspected sample on a spotting plate and add few drops of reagent the appearance of purple becoming gray pulper color indicates the presence of heroin preparation of fraud's reagent 50 mg of molybdic acid or sodium molybdate is dissolved in 10 ml of hot concentrated sulfuric acid the resulting solution should be colorless nitric acid test take a small amount of suspected sample on a spotting plate and add a few drops of concentrated nitric acid the appearance of yellow color which turns to green on standing indicates the presence of heroin instrumental analysis of heroin thin layer chromatography sample preparation take appropriate amount of suspected sample in methanol stationary phase should be activated silica gel with or without fluorescein substance tlc plate of 0.25 to 0.2 mm thickness mobile phase oblique solvent system solvent system a ethyl acetate methanol and concentrated ammonia in the ratio of 85 is to 10 is to 5 system b chloroform and methanol 90 is to 1 system c diethyl ether water saturated acetone and diethyl amine in the ratio of 85 is to 8 is to 7 other solvent systems are system 1 ammonia benzene dioxane and ethanol in the ratio of 5 is to 50 is to 40 is to 5 system 2 acetic acid ethanol and water in the ratio of 30 is to 60 is to 10 system 3 chloroform dioxane ethyl acetate and ammonia in the ratio of 25 is to 60 is to 10 is to 5 system 4 ethyl alcohol chloroform dioxane petroleum ether in the ratio of 30 is to 600 benzene ammonia and ethyl acetate in the ratio of 5 is to 10 is to 50 is to 15 is to 10 is to 5 is to 5 system 6 ethyl acetate benzene and ammonia in the ratio of 60 is to 35 is to 5 system 7 ethyl acetate and butyl ether and ammonia in the ratio of 60 is to 35 is to 5 all these are been visualized under uv light at 254 nm and the spray reagent is drag and drop reagent or acidified potassium iodoplatinate reagent spray preparation of drag and drop reagent mix together 2 grams of bismuth subnitrate and 25 ml of glacial acetic acid and 100 ml of water to produce a solution 1 dissolve 40 g of potassium iodide in 100 ml of water to produce solution 2 mix 10 ml of solution 1 and 10 ml of solution 2 to it add 20 ml of glacial acetic acid and add 100 ml of water preparation of acidified potassium iodoplatinate reagent dissolve 0.25 g of platinic chloride and 5 g of potassium iodide in water to 100 ml and add 2 ml of concentrated hydrochloric acid to make it acidic now we will move to gas chromatographic column pack column technique for heroin the operating conditions are 
Detector will be flame ionization detector. Column will be 6 feet or 2 meter. Internal diameter 2 to 4 mm. Packing will be SE30 or OV1 or it could be OV17 also that is methyl silicon or methyl phenyl silicon. Carrier gas will be nitrogen and the flow rate will be 45 ml per minute. The injected temperature should be set at 275 degree centigrade with oven temperature at 250 degree centigrade and the detector temperature should be set at 275 degree centigrade. The internal standard will be benzopinacolone 222-triphenyl acetophenone or N-tetracosane n ortho bis trimethyl silicyl acetamide BSA. Capillary column technique for heroin. Detector will be again flame ionization detector. Column will be OV1 cross-linked HP17 phenyl methyl silicone or equivalent column. The film thickness should be 0.2 mm in length, 25 meter by 0.32 mm ID carrier gas hydrogen. Flow rate will be around 110 centimeter per second, about 30 ml per minute, measured at oven temperature of 150 degree centigrade. Injection technique will be split mode ratio 1 by 60, makeup gas argon at 18 ml per minute. The injector temperature will be 250 degree centigrade. The detector temperature will be 280 degree centigrade. The temperature programming starting at 150 degree centigrade to 280 degree centigrade at the rate of 9 degree centigrade per minute. Then isothermal for 0.5 minute. The detector temperature will be 280 degree centigrade. Alternate or additional methods of gas chromatography. Method 1. Conditions. Detector will be again flame ionization detector. Column. A glass column 6 feet into 0.25 inch internal diameter. Packing will be 3% OV1. Carrier gas will be nitrogen with a flow rate of 60 ml per minute. Injector temperature will be 285 degree centigrade. The column temperature will be fixed at 255 degree centigrade. The detector temperature will be maintained at 285 degree centigrade. Preparation of standard solution of heroin hydrochloride and triacontane internal standard in chloroform having a concentration of about 0.3 and 0.4 milligrams per ml respectively. Prepare a working N-trinocaine internal standard solution in chloroform having a concentration of 0.4 mg per ml. Dilute an amount of sample with the working N-tricontane internal standard solution to give a final heroin hydrochloride concentration of somewhere between 0.08 to 0.5 mg per ml. Inject sample and standard solution into the gas chromatograph under the operating parameters given above. Method 2. Gas chromatography of illicit heroin. The internal standard solution of phenyl butazone 0.2 mg per nm and chloramphenicol 2 mg per ml and standard solution of caffeine 0.08 mg per ml. Methaquilon 0.1 mg per ml and diazepam 0.1 mg per ml were also prepared in methanol. 2 microliter of standard mixture and internal standard solution in the ratio of 1 is to 1 were injected. The brown sugars or the illicit heroin samples were well mixed, weighed and dissolved in methanol within the internal standard and then filtered through millipore filter paper of the type GV and pore size 0.22 micro m. 2 microliter of brown sugar or suspected sample 2 to 3 milligram per ml was injected. Different concentration of heroin were prepared and mixed with internal standard in the ratio of 1 is to 1 portion. 2 microliter volume was injected to get response in the range of 25 to 100 nanogram. The alternation of the integrator was increased to give good response for the low concentration of heroin. 
run two or three times and plot the average condition GC, Lono tubes, detector, FID, column, fused silica white bore, column temperature, 250 degree centigrade, injector temperature, 280 degree centigrade, detector temperature, the same, 280 degree, carrier gas, hydrogen at the rate of 45 ml per minute, auxiliary gas, nitrogen, 30 ml per minute, air, 400 ml per minute, split ration, 1.5 is to 1. Now, with this, we come to the end of gas chromatography and will start with high performance liquid chromatography. Isocratic technique, operating conditions, column, 250 mm by 4.6 mm, internal diameter, packing material, silica, HPLC grade, 5 or 7 micron diameter, mobile phased in the degas condition, hexane, 75% volume by volume, dichloromethane, 20% volume by volume, methanol 5% volume by volume. The methanol contained 0.75% volume by volume diethylamine, flow rate 2 ml per minute, detection fluorescence with excitation at 260 nm and emission at 400 nm. Injection volume was fixed at 10 microliter. Quantitation by peak area, external standard method. Now we move to gradient technique. The operating conditions are column 125 mm by 4.6 mm internal diameter, packing material octadecyl silane 5 micron HPLC grade mobile phase 1. At start of chromatographic development 5% methanol 95% phosphate buffer with 0.023 m hexyl amine pH 2.2. At 20 minutes, linear gradient. 3. Final composition. 30% methanol, 70% phosphate buffer. 4. 8 minutes at final composition. 5. End of chromatographic development. Flow rate will be 1.5 ml per minute. Detection. 2 UV detectors in a series at 218 and 228 nm. Photodiodary detectors. Both signals on the photodiodary detectors are time programmed so that the wavelength is switched on 12 minutes and the beginning of the run. Signal A. Detection first at 218 nm, then at 228 nm. Signal B. Detection first at 228 nm and then at 240 nm. Phosphate buffer. 870 parts water. 30 parts 2M sodium hydroxide, 10 parts phosphoric acid. The hexyl amine is added to the buffer after degassing. Otherwise, it may be lost by evaporation. The final pH is obtained by further addition of sodium hydroxide of phosphoric acid as appropriate. A spectrophotometric method UV spectrophotometry using an aqueous acid solution. The absorbance at 279 nm using aqueous alkali solution absorption is at 299 nm. Heroin may be studied by scanning the samples in appropriate organic solvent with the help of UV visible spectrophotometer. The spectrum R the value of lambda max of the spectrum can be compared with the standard value given in the literature or by using the standard sample of heroin. Infrared or FTIR spectroscopy. Sample preparation. Halide disc method. Potassium bromide pellet method. Microhalide disc method. Neujol mull method, that is liquid paraffin method. Major peaks are obtained in the IR spectra of heroin and monoacetyl morphine at the following wavelength number, centimeter inverse. They are listed in the order of magnitude of absorbance. But the sequence may vary from sample to sample depending on the method of sample preparation. Heroin base 1243, 1196, 1727, 1214, 1444, 1757, 1054 and 1370. Heroin chloride 1245, 1736, 
वन वन सेवन सेवन वन वन नाइन फोर वन फोर फोर एट वन सेवन सिक्स फाइव वन सेवन फाइव सेवन वन थ्री सिक्स एट मोनो एसिटाइल मॉर्फिन बेस वन टू थ्री नाइन वन सेवन फोर जीरो वन जीरो वन एट वन जीरो थ्री एट वन थ्री सेवन फोर वन फोर फाइव नाइन वन फाइव जीरो फाइव नाइन वन फाइव मोनो एसिटाइल मॉर्फिन क्लोराइड वन टू फोर जीरो वन सेवन टू थ्री वन फाइव जीरो थ्री वन जीरो थ्री नाइन वन थ्री जीरो फाइव वन थ्री सिक्स एट वन फोर सिक्स फाइव एंड एट जीरो फाइव सम अदर टेक्निकल मेथड्स आर हाई परफॉर्मेंस थिन लेयर क्रोमेटोग्राफी और एच पी टी एल सी आय मोबिलिटी स्पेक्ट्रोमेट्रिक टेक्निक एक्स रे डिफ्रैक्शन स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी जी सी आई एन स्कैन विद दिस वी कम टू द एंड ऑफ मॉड्यूल फाइव हेरोइन कैन लीड टू एडिक्शन अ फॉर्म ऑफ सब्सटेंस यूज डिसऑर्डर विदड्रॉल सिम्टम्स मे ऑल्सो शो विच इंक्लूड्स मसल एंड बोन पेन स्लीप डिसऑर्डर डायरिया एंड वॉमिटिंग एंड सीवियर हेरोइन कार्विंग a range of treatment including medication and behavioral therapies are effective in helping people from stop the use of heroin if illegally anyone is trafficking heroin then by using different preliminary confirmatory and instrumental method we can identify heroin ngos are also working for the addicts so that they can get rid of this addiction and the problem with all these information here we come to the end of today's lecture dear student do keep in mind what we have discussed today about heroin it's time for you all to do some of self study this is professor devashish bose signing off if you want to learn more and enhance your knowledge you may log on to our website for mcqs quizzes and lors at www.cec.nic.in till then goodbye